the two items we'll need is a nice straight edge with a non-slip pad. That way, when we start using our acrylic scoring knife, our straight edge won't slip on us. Let's take a close-up look at how the acrylic scoring knife actually works. It's kind of like two knives in one. The leading edge here is what you use to cut through the paper release liner, whereas the hook part here is actually what you're going to use to cut a V-groove or to score into the acrylic sheet. So in the first pass, I want to use the knife part to cut through the paper pre-mask. And then on the return stroke, I'll actually use the hook part to cut the V-groove. Use light pressure when you cut your V-groove, and you'll need to make multiple passes depending on how thick your acrylic sheet is. And it's a good idea to make sure that you hang your acrylic off the edge of the table so that you won't gouge into your table. Start with light pressure and build up making multiple passes. On this sheet of three millimeter, I'll make about six light passes. After scoring your acrylic, rotate the acrylic so that the score line that you created is lined up on the edge of your table. Now I could easily break this now like this. However, this is a higher pressure point and I want to distribute the weight more evenly and more uniform across this break point here. Using my straight edge is going to allow me to get more uniform pressure and a cleaner break. Once you break your acrylic, you can now use your knife to cut your pre-mask loose. For cutting thicker and larger sheets of acrylic, I like to use my multi-material cutter. Now, I've already changed the blade for cutting acrylic, and it works pretty much like the one we had on our table. In the first pass, we'll cut through the pre-mask, and every pass thereafter, we'll be scoring our V-groove. Now, one of the things that I want to point out is you can use the cutting tool to break the sheet right here. But I prefer to do that on the table because we'll get a cleaner break. Well, let's take a look at cutting some acrylic with a skill saw. And we'll need to do this in the back of the facility away from the laminator. And then we'll dive into polishing and finishing the edge. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have a local supplier that can cut the acrylic for you, that's great. But they may not do edge polishing. So pay close attention. It's easier than you think. Always remember to wear safety glasses when you're working with power equipment. Now here's a tip. On the bottom of the circular saw, I place the loop part of Velcro on the bottom to keep from scratching the acrylic surface. And I've got my straight edge here lined up and clamped down. After you cut your acrylic with the circular saw, you'll be left with a rough cut edge like this. And what we want to do is work to a more polished edge like this. And there are a couple of ways to remove this rough cut. One of the easiest is to actually use a table router. turning our rough saw cut into a nice smooth edge. If you don't have a table router, it's okay. We can do this old school. I've got a sanding pad that I've made with 320 on one side, 180 on the other. I'll do half of this edge here, starting with my 180. Once I've removed the deep grooves, I'll change over to 320. To help see what I'm doing, I'll take a damp rag and wipe up the sawdust. This makes it work a lot cleaner and a lot easier. My favorite way to finish off rough saw edges is to use my acrylic scoring knife like we used earlier. I've sharpened the edge here and I'm actually going to use it as a scraping tool, working all the way across the sheet, making sure that I stay parallel, changing the angle from time to time each time I draw the scraper. What I like about this is I don't end up with a lot of sawdust, but more like some shavings. And it's a lot faster than sanding. 
Now we're ready to flame polish the edge of our acrylic sheet. A couple of things we need to pay attention to. Number one is make sure you've removed any sawdust that's on the edge of the sheet here and make sure you remove enough of your film or your paper-based pre-mass to keep it away from the flame edge. Let's use some common sense. I'm going to use some map gas and actually flame the edge to bring out a polish. Now we have a beautiful, pristine, highly polished edge. 